I am. Oh, good luck. Okay, yeah, right. signing off. Okay, let me get my quiz ready. And, uh, uh -huh. What's up? I'm Good morning and evening. So this is the very last quiz for the emptiness meditations section. Wow. Yay. So what was Chini Lama's strategy in responding to the learned monk's request of him to write a book on emptiness? Nothing? Wasn't he very humble about it and just said, um, I'm just trying to uh, remind myself of this and, and uh, I don't really know that much. He did do that. His stra oh, confuser. His strategy was to explain the very essence of the Buddhist teachings the view that things are not themselves, uh, to using the framework of the classical division of the four philosophical schools. So what was the inspiration for Light on the Path to Freedom? But what did the learned monk uh, just do? To some goal. He so, well, in one sense, we could say it was Lord Buddha's teachings that the very key to escaping from the wheel of pain is, is to see directly that nothing has any nature of its own. But in the other, uh, the learned monk had just finished uh, like studying Jason Kappa's praise of dependent origination. And he wanted more. So, and then dependent origin, his praise of dependent origination really was his praise of Lord Buddha's teachings on emptiness, but using dependent origination to help students uncover the meaning. So what was Chuni Lama's purpose in writing this book? We pray it every, every day. So in, in hopes that we would read, understand, and practice even just one person and reach complete and total enlightenment, as well as to plant seeds for the teachings on the highest truth to remain in the world for time without end. How about some Tibetan? Does this have any meaning in English? Okay, not even of the slightest it use. It does, it does have meaning in English. How about this one? You know. Indispensable? Right. Is? To do in oh. the ancient way. Okay, thanks very much. May you all reach enlightenment. Thank you. Thank you, Bad. Okay. Geshela, you may please take the screen and save me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Boy, everybody sounds sleepy. Yep. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Okay. Let's see here. Cool. All right. You okay? It's great. Okay. There it is. Uh, please read this first line, Bets, and Inna is going to check you. 
Uh, Jerem, Poche, Tanche, Kempo, Losang, Dokbe, Pelen, uh, Lanamo. Yeah. Lanamo? Lanamo. Ah, Lanamo. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. Okay, now something about our input system, okay? Yes, please. Uh, oftentimes the first page of a carving or the first three pages have pictures carved on them. Yeah. And oftentimes the pictures have captions on them. Uh, so we have a rule for ACIP that uh, when there's a picture with a caption on the page, we put DD. Okay. Uh, we put DD in the database, uh, in the ASCII database, because it's easy to find. Uh, so DD. And then uh, anytime you're writing a book and you want a picture of your author, you can search the database for DD within two lines of your author's name. Uh -huh. And you will find a picture of him in the carving uh, or her, right? So right. that's a very cool thing to know. Uh, and we followed this rule when we cataloged in St. Petersburg for 12 years, uh, the 141,000 uh, colophons of the books in in St. Petersburg Library of Oriental Studies. So uh, you can, you, you know, there's 141,000 books there. Many of them have pictures and you can find a, you can often find a picture of your author. Uh, so that's just something I wanted you guys to know. Uh, let's see what the caption says here. Or can anybody tell me? So the omniscient one, the precious okay. Lord, um, pure-minded and famous. <laughs> Jetson so, Kappa. Yeah, right. to Jason Kappa. To, now, what about this correction of the caption? Um, to you, I bow instead of um, it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. So la namo means namaste. Namaste, N-A-M-A-S. Uh, the AS drops out and replaced by O, which happens in certain combinations. So this namo means namaste. Okay. Uh, and it was mistyped, it was lenmo, yeah. which kind of means also a stupid guy. So uh, you gotta be careful with these, uh, with these typings. And you know, to be fair to the typer, uh, the captions are very, very tiny because they have to fit under a carving of a picture. And uh, we have found some very unusual uh, pictures by in this method. Uh, and I wanted to show off to our audience and show you one of them. This is my one of my favorite, okay? Uh, and this is the only uh, picture of this llama that exists as far as I know. Uh, and I thought, uh, you, somebody want to read? Uh, Beth, you want to try to read? I don't know. Nah, anybody? Uh, let me blow it up first. Okay. Uh, can I? Oh, God. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. Jenny Lama. Want to try? Y yeah. It's... Uh... Um, Ken Chone, uh, Ken, Ken. Ken Chen, yeah, Ken Chen, um, uh, uh, J, ah, oh, gosh, it is Jetson. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Jetson, uh, Drakpa Shedru, yeah, J, J, uh -huh. okay, this is the only known image of uh, Choni Lama, you see, and uh. Oh. We found it that way. Uh, so Kenchen means great abbot because he founded uh, Choni Datsang. Uh, he founded the, uh, after he got famous in, in studies in Plaza, he went back home, which was very common. 
and he founded a monastery, uh, a great monastery and a great tantric college. And uh, so this is, he's called Great Abbot, okay? And that must be an abbot's hat of some kind there, okay? <laughs> Uh, so I just want you guys to know that this resource is available to you due to the kindness of John Brady and all the gold clubs around the world and people like that. Yay. Yay. Okay. Geshla, okay. what does the D stand for? Say again? The DD, what does it stand oh, for? Oh, you know, we were going to put drawing and, and then we thought D was too, no Tibetan word has DD in it, except Buddha maybe. So uh, we needed something unique. Okay. <laughs> That's all. We just needed something unique that you could search for. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Beth. Oh, who's checking uh, is Adam since he volunteered. Samotompani ki te konani rab to selwar selwar jpe tenchu kel song ninje. Che Jawa, Gawa Kunki Seki Tubo J Sun Jampe Chang Tang Ni Suma Chipe Pelndila Yang Jampe Yang. Oh, sorry. Yang Lama Dampa Mikpa Mepe took J Chempo Dang Dempa De Shabla Kupa. Yeah, cool. Uh, by the way, if you're really sensitive to Tibetan, you can already tell this guy is a hardcore Tsongkhapian. Uh, his language uh, is pure Tsongkhapa, you know, and, and he was brought up young by Tsongkhapa. So uh, he's, he's almost like a little clone of Tsongkhapa. And uh, it's going to be a very comfortable text to read, okay? And uh, also, uh, you know, just everyone should be aware that Betts is starting off now on maybe a 15 year project. And uh, it takes a lot of courage. You gotta have power and you gotta have determination at the beginning. So I'm just telling you, you know, you're just getting into the boat to go from Europe to America or something, okay? Uh, yeah. And there's, there's lots of icebergs on the way. And I'm using oars. <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay. So uh, we already talked about the title. Uh, I think the only difficulty here would be, how do you render uh, the, the suchness, right? Uh -huh. Of emptiness, of profound emptiness, okay? So in this case, you have to render as the real nature, okay? Okay. Uh, or the true nature, which is almost a, what do you call that? A contradicting word. Contradicting Oxymoron. Word. Yeah. Oxymoron. Yeah, when you say true nature of emptiness, which is the absence of a true nature. Uh, you know, anyway. Uh, so this is the, this is the book. By the way, the, the title has already been given. Yeah. Right? On the cover <clears throat> page. On right. the title page. And then on the next page of the carving. Uh, there'll be a blank page, and then they'll start the uh, the two pictures on either side, usually. You almost never have one picture. They always try to balance it. So we can, anticipatory translation, expect another DD coming down here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, and, uh, so um, the other day when we translated the title, we mm -hmm. said uh, the suchness of profound emptiness mm -hmm. or the very nature of profound emptiness. Yeah. So do you... Translator's <laughs> choice. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I agree with Mr. Kramer that it should sound sexy. And there's okay. nothing uh, embarrassing about making the text attractive to your reader, especially <laughs> in the first page. Right. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do a poll. I'll come up with some options. We can see I which is sexiest. And we have a lot of audience here. Yeah. And uh, they are interested in translations and maybe they can help vote for their favorite expression. Okay, Raptu Sawar Chepa means I'm gonna illuminate it completely. As you know, Choni, oh, sorry, that's not Choni Lama, okay. Sawar Chepa, Tenje. And then he, 
he modestly calls his book a classical commentary. Kelsan <laughs> Mikte, uh, Opening the Eyes of the Fortunate, or something like that. Okay. Uh, you could call your book Eye Opener, or it's up to you to put a cool name on your book, but it's a very, very important thing for selling your translation. And uh -huh. they did also, didn't they? So don't be shy. Right. Don't be shy to make a title which is a, is very attractive to a, a Western reader. And, and, and okay. don't, you know, when the guide to the Bodhisattva's way of life came out, uh, I, I didn't like the title because it didn't reflect the, the uh, Sanskrit or the Tibetan exactly. Uh, but uh -huh. in my later years, I realized it was a great title. Uh -huh. uh, so don't be shy to do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Seki tuo is the difficult thing in the next line, okay? Anybody know what tuo means? Uh, air, air. Uh, tuo means uh, like uh, main one or chief one, okay? Or Lord, okay? Uh, the main say, uh, child, okay? The main child of all the Buddhas, okay? Of all the victorious Buddhas, um. okay? The king child. And normally that child of a Buddha means? Bodhisattva. Yeah. So uh, with, with these people, like Manjushri, which is here Manju Kosha, uh, who, who used to be considered Bodhisattvas in close, uh, the eight uh, close sons, Nyewe Sege, of, uh -huh. of Buddha. Uh, later they got uh, promoted to being Buddhas themselves. Okay. But you can... <laughs> You can dip, you can read it either way. You know, if your author says son of the Buddhas, then that's okay. He's a bodhisattva. Okay. If they call him the Buddha of wisdom, well, that's okay. Then he's the Buddha. Okay. Uh, the reverend, high and holy, literally, Jetson. And I like the expression high and holy. Uh, uh -huh. uh And look, nobody knows Manju Gosha. Uh, you can use the Sanskrit Manjushri. You kind of limit yourself to Buddhist, you know, weird Buddhist Westerners who are interested in Buddhism, or, or I like to say gentle voice. And I think it's more available to, you know, and then I think you should have a list at the end of the book that gentle voice means Manjushri or something. Or you could even use an appositive if you prefer. Uh -huh. You could say gentle uh -huh. voice, comma, Manjushri or Manjugosha. Uh, Nisu Machipa is an idiom. Anybody know? Uh, Nisu Mepa. Which there's no, not two of? Actual. Yeah, indivisible. Actual. Okay. Yeah. This chi means to be. It's another word like ancient word for ya. Okay. Uh, so not divisible from. And this dung is from, okay? In English, we say from, in not divisible from Manjushri, okay? Uh, who are they gonna, okay, predict the anticipatory translation. Who is he talking about? It's it's Papa. Papa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's supposed to bow down to his teacher. We already know that. Now we got somebody who's indivisible from the Buddha of wisdom. Uh, you know, we can pretty much predict the next two lines. So that's an important part of translation. And I repeat, you know, try to put your mind into what, what would you write next? You know, if you were the author, what would, you, what would come next, okay? And oftentimes you'll be right. As, as you learn more and more scripture, you can predict with greater accuracy what's supposed to come next. And in that manner, you can also find errors in the text and you can, I mean, there's places where they carved the wrong back page on the wood block. Gosh. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you'll be able to detect them if you get good at anticipatory translation, okay? Tuche Chemo, sorry, I'm sorry, Belden Lama Dampa means what? Glorious Holy Lama. Yeah, my glorious Holy Lama. Uh, now, important. Mikpa Mepe Tukche Chambadong Demba. You possess. Yeah, the love which does not see. Yeah, with the love with nothing it sees. Migmetsewa. Okay, isn't that cool? He's, 
in his first sentence, bowing down to his teacher, he uses the mantra of his teacher, okay? Okay, very cool. And if I were you, I might put a footnote there about Mikmetsewa, okay? Yeah. I'm not sure when that mantra was written, uh, oh. but I think long enough that uh, K.W.J. would have known it by then. It would have been around by then. It might have been new by then. Uh -huh. uh, maybe too, you on that, but you possess great compassion, which is the same as Sewa, right? Mikmet Sewa, love. Mm -hmm. uh, with nothing it sees. And then you better explain that, okay, to your, to your audience. Uh, to your shop, Holy I feet. Talked, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, to I your holy feet. feet. Holy feet. With great kupa. Reverence. Respect. Reverence. Yeah, with great reverence. Okay, now we got some poetry. By the way, anticipatory translation. Who's the poetry? What do, what do you often find in the opening poetry? I, I can think of two things. They usually don't reveal who it's about until the end of the poem. That's true. That's true. Indeed. Like they'll often say Kong at the beginning, which means who is that who's so lovely and so smart, you know? But and you'll weave in, in his name into the yeah, words good. you use to praise him. Good. You might weave in a name. Uh, you might talk about the lineage. Uh, and you definitely, I, I predict he will have the Sambadamchawa. He's going to bow down to like something that represents the subject matter of the book. And the promise to yeah. compose the work. Oh, yeah, the promise to compose. yeah, he's going to pro promise to compose the work. And that promise may have four parts. Okay. Go sok chushi. Uh, he will state the necessity of the work, and and he will try to convince you that the work is is related to that necessity. Gusokchushi, the four qualities of a book that you can read. Okay, uh, which is okay. So I'm just predicting things he might. Most authors would mention in the first po lines of poetry. I would yes. predict the first one is probably to the Buddha. Okay, let's see. Yes. yes. I just noticed something. Uh, he put his name in the opening paragraph. Uh, here? Kelsong Pelden. Uh, no, his name was Gaelic Isn't Pell. It? Oh, Gaelic Pell. Oh, OK. Yeah, Gaelic Pell, yeah. But that would be cute, wouldn't it? OK, Beth, let's go. Oh, and Word has volunteered to check you. OK. Excellent. By the way, I have a new, I have a new, uh, I have a new standard for the mixed nuts. If the poetry is is many beats, okay, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen beats per line. Uh, I split it into two, and I keep the same amount of beats on on, on the first line, okay, on the first lines, and uh, it works. It looks good on the page, okay. Here we go. Much better. Pangshik tong ni samoy nga tra nga nga tra yar tu ki ni chin ki yang. Good. Ten, sorry, ten, ten ching drill jung nam ke ke go le jun che me par drop ba yi. Daktu tawe satum kunsel chuchardu subet kepa tame tumpa ningje chunzin nyowa de la chakselo. Nice. Uh, nice. You, you kept the beats together well. Okay, so uh, for a hundred dollars, what's the most famous verse that opens with Kong? It's a praise to, uh, I think it's Manjushri, Kangi, Kangi, Lodu, oh. okay? It's called Kang, Kang Loma. Uh -huh. uh, okay, anyway, this is that little game where the author will say, there's somebody who is 
is blah, 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 and they're also blah, 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 and guess who it is, okay? So anyway, uh, so there's somebody I'm thinking of called Sheik, and uh, they like to joke by, here's the verb down here, okay? They like to joke by a nada. Uh, the sound of a drum or... Yeah, great, perfect. Okay, there's somebody who enjoys sending out, sending forth the drum song or the, the drum sound of Sabmo Tombani. Profound emptiness. Yeah, profound emptiness. And that drum sound is like a young. Sweet sound. Yeah, here it means a song or melody, okay? Young can also mean a melody, uh, okay? It can mean a voice, but it can mean a melody. Uh, what's the melody of the clouds which you hear in the season of summer, which I should have given to Xiaoping to translate? Thunder. thunder. Yeah, good, thunder. So you gotta get this image in your mind of somebody who's, teachings on emptiness just wake up the whole world and they spread over the whole town you know and nobody can escape it you can lay in your bed with your pillow around your head but still he's gonna scream emptiness at you okay it's a beautiful image okay yeah uh, and not only that but he has uh he joke buzz it without with with no interruption. Yeah, in a constant flow, okay? Where? Uh, from the vault of the sky. Oh, what's the sky? Uh, dependent origination. Yeah, 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 okay. So already in the first two lines, K2J has announced what his book is about, really. And it's the marriage of karma and emptiness, okay? It's the marriage of seeds and emptiness, okay? And it's very unbelievable that he would, you know, already announce his whole topic for the next 12 years or whatever in the first two lines, okay? And, and again, this combination of em emptiness and karma is what Tsongkhapa was fanatic about uh, being the essence of the Buddha's teachings, okay? And Tokpai. So when you do that drum songing, thunder thing, okay, what happens? Uh, Dr. Tawa is compared to Tsawa Dung. Torment of heat? Yeah, the torment, the, the torment of a hot summer day, which has been going on in Arizona. We had 100 degrees. How many degrees is that centigrade, Stanley? 43, something like that. Probably it's high. <laughs> we, had, we had a couple of days of 43. My bees are just laying in the water and you know, trying to get a bath. Uh, sadung, what's the sadung? The view what? of having, The view, view of self. Yeah. yeah, the view that the husband in the kitchen is coming from his own side, just, just Keep repeating it, okay? Well, I'm not suggesting you translate it that way, but- Thank you. you. Know, the idea that the husband is coming from his own side is a 100 degree day, okay? Mentally. 37 in- What is it? 37. Oh, that's all? Okay. It's 30. 106 here in Camp Verde. Oh, really? You guys are hotter because yeah. uh, you're better translators. Okay. Yeah, probably because our view is worse. Okay. Now, he's gonna, I'm gonna skip to the next line. Somebody is a kepa. Master. At bepaing the chu. Uh, at bringing down the waterfall? Yeah, good, good. So this is chepa pong su yupa. Okay, this is, the, uh, in, is, this is the agentive form of the verb to fall. Uh, so fall is almost a reflexive verb where, you know, the thing falls on its own. But this now means to draw. Okay. Uh, so it's, you know, and the word pop means to fall. 
So when you put a prenasal on it, and if you don't know about prenasals, you, you won't understand the difference, right? When you uh -huh. prenasal it, it often becomes agentive. You, he, he made to fall, he caused to fall, okay? He bept it, okay? He bept the, chucha means the rain. And, and you know, me and Veronica, we planted a new back lawn. We're growing oats and barley. Wow. And you know, you, well, when the pandemic hit, we decided to be farmers. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, we just grew it for fun. And Liberty uh, Garden. Yeah, you put the seeds down and they have to have water for five or six days or they will die, okay? If they get water for one day, they'll partly open and they'll die. So in an ancient agrarian culture like Tibet, uh, it was crucial that Tusu char Charpa. Oh. Well, at the time, uh, yeah, at the right time. Okay. At the right time. Okay. Yeah, you put the seeds in the ground and you just, then you call a chapa word. <clears throat> I'm sorry? A sorcerer. <laughs> then you call a, a rainmaker and you say, get, oh. get your ass gone. You know, I just put the seed in. It's got to rain in the next uh, five days or the seed will die. You see? Uh, okay. So in an agrarian culture, in a farming culture, uh, it's, in, it's extremely important to have someone who's a master at dropping the rain at, at the right time. Timely, timely, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, and who's he dropping it on? He's dropping it on the tormented souls who Good. view a self. Good, and uh, he's dropping it on, the, on all the wives in the kitchen who are getting yelled at. Uh, and it will kunsel their tzadum. It will quell good. or... Yeah. yeah, good. It even sounds like kunsa. Okay. Da me, da wa mepa? Indivisible? Matchless. Uh, yeah, Match good. Means uh, this means uh, matchless, okay? Matchless. Okay, no moon, no corresponding moon, which, which came to mean matchless, okay? You are the matchless teacher. Uh, you are the Ningje Chinzin is a poeticism. You're the, the very heart? Anybody you else? Are the cloud of love? Yeah, cloud of love. Gibson got um, it. <laughs> beautiful. What time, Gibson, what time is it for you? Uh, 10 o'clock at night. Oh man, I don't know how you can keep your eyes open. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the clouds uh, of compassion, yoa means they move across the sky, they wander across the sky, right? I uh -huh. bow down to you, okay? Uh, I bow down to you, uh, you cloud who drops the rain at the right time on the beings who are suffering from the 37 degrees centigrade, okay? So now the chunzin, uh, the water holder cloud mm -hmm. is the master at dropping rain. Okay. And I take the yoa to be across the generations or across the sky. Okay. I bow down to you. Okay. So the, the, the important word here is tumba. Okay. Uh, yeah. As predicted, the first verse is a, 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 a prostration to who? The Buddha. Yeah, the Buddha, the Tumba, the teacher, capital T, okay? Two capital T's, I, I like sometimes, you know, the teacher. The teacher. Yeah, like the city, Mexico City. Uh -huh. Sorry, New York. Oh, New York. Oh, what? Uh, Can't Verdi, come on. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, Gibson, you awake? Can you do this? Can you check this lady? Sure. Yawa kunki chuki dun sache, chang me sempe. Why am I always getting this wrong? Yusu sabmoi tam, senge dra jang drok la tame pa, dra yang, jam yang kempe tergi tak chong chi. Yeah, uh, 
Da Yang, right? Da Yang, melody or song. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, this word, uh, Dun Sa, I had to look it up in the dictionary. It means Song Du. What is that, Song Du? Gather together? Yeah, Songdu is a Tibetan word for meeting, and it's still in modern times, you know. They say, where are you going? I'm going to Songdu. I have to go to a meeting, okay? So this is a very, very common colloquial term that you should, guys should all learn. So I have this master plan. You're going to learn Uchen script, then you're going to learn Cube <laughs> script, and then you're going to learn colloquial, and you're going to learn Sanskrit in there. And then Stanley's going to teach us all Chinese, okay? Stanley Nelson. Okay, so in the big meeting, in the in the great gathering, okay, in the great Dharma gathering of all the Buddhas, okay, Tangme uh, Sembe Usu, you stood among the Tangme Sempas. Infinite warriors. Yeah, yeah, the countless bodhisattvas, okay countless bodhisattvas, you stood in their midst, usu. This u means in the center of a circle, okay? You stood in the center of them, and then you mm, joked, okay? Uh, this sabotage. You sang, or you <laughs> did the drumming? Uh, yeah, uh, actually here it's a, a song, like you proclaimed the song of the deep talk, of the deepest subject, okay, samitam. Okay, tam means to talk, right? Like discuss, okay, uh, samitam. And you did so in the, in the roar of a- Lion. Lion, okay. Uh, and you are da mepa in doing that. E you have no- Oh, you're a matchless. Yeah, you are mattress, matchless, not mattress, okay. Uh, Jamyang, oh Jamyang. Okay, so now we get the object of the second verb of a second verse of poetry, okay? And by the way, he has dropped out of 15 beat lines and uh -huh. he has gone to four, five, six, seven, nine. And the psychological effect on a Tibetan is that the second person mentioned is not as supreme as the first, you see? Uh -huh. Uh, okay, so Senge Dayan Dogla Damebe Jamyang, you are a, a ter of Kimba. Treasure there, house. Who said? Uh, um, a, a treasure house or a mine of treasure. Yeah, good. Ter means uh, either an underground mine or uh, a treasure house of a king. Okay, so you are a treasure house of understanding. High, the high word, the high noun for understanding, okay? Now, 20 bucks for Doc Young Sheik. Please, please nurture me, please protect me. Damn, don't you ever stop? Yeah. Okay. You're so irritating. I hope you're investing all this money, you know, in something. <laughs> all right. Uh, next verse. And who's going to check you? Stanley, let's go. Supwang Kempe Ningpo Tongpani, so shin drewa drella, kyawa ni parni, kyawe lung ten pak chok, ludru shop, se dang chela ningne dak chok sell. This is beautiful. Yeah, it is very beautiful. And, and you can already taste that he's a great writer. As, as yeah. a writer, he's a, he's a great master of Tibetan because Tsongkhapa is probably the best of all time, unless you want to count Chijang Rinpoche, okay? Tubuang Tembe Nyingbo Tombanyi. Tombanyi is the... Emptiness. Essence. Is the essence of the Temba. Of the teachings. Yeah, of the Tupe Wangbo. Of the Buddha, but it's a different word, and I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, it's the able one. one. Wait, the Lord of the able ones, which is saying our Buddha is bestest. <laughs> okay, it's very cute. Okay, uh, you know, 
emptiness was the essence of your teachings, O oh, bestest of Buddhas, which means Shakyamuni. He's okay. You were the bestest of the Buddhas. Okay. It's, you got to get that in your translation. Okay. Uh, you can make a sort of a dry translation, which people do, but I, I would like it to reflect that he's claiming loyalty to Shakyamuni as being the best of the billion Buddhas in the universe. Okay. Which there is an argument for that uh, due to that he volunteered to work with the stupidest living beings in the universe. Okay. <laughs> according to tradition, according to tradition. Okay. Uh, and you, you drop uh, uh, his concepts of emptiness, sulshintu. The person he's bowing down to, Delpad, the idea of emptiness, sulshintu. Uh, you explained or elucidated yeah. or expanded on or something. Yeah. Uh, emptiness, sulshintu means correctly, okay? In keeping with the way, right? Which means correctly, okay? And uh, now I'm going to skip to the next line. You were Lung Tembad. Prophesized. Yeah, you were predicted. You were prophesized by the, here's plural. Oftentimes, Gyalwa is plural, okay? Uh, you got to be careful for words for Buddhas because it's difficult to tell when they are talking about Shakyamuni and when they're talking about all the Buddhas in the universe. So Gyalwa is most the, often plural, okay? Uh, the conquerors. Yeah, you were predicted by the conquerors as being Gyawanipa in this world. Uh, without match. Mm -mm. Oh, the second Buddha, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first Gyawa here is singular and he's being cute, you know, the victors, the, the victors predicted that you would be the second victor on this planet. Okay. The victors predicted that you would be the second victor on this planet. Okay. It's cute. Okay. Who is the, the Pak Cho? The, oh, the Aryan Guardian. Cho. The Supreme. Yeah, you are the, you know, he's done it again, right? Here he said our Buddha was the best Buddha in the universe. And here he said, Nagarjuna is the best Arya of all who ever lived. Right. You know? And it's great. It's true. It's, kind of, it's actually true. Okay, you, you are the most amazing Arya to walk this planet. Oh, uh, I bow down to the shub of Ludum. To the feet, the holy feet of uh, Nagarjuna. Yeah. Uh, Lu is Naga. Drup, which means warrior here, is Arjuna, the famous warrior of the Bhagavad Gita. Okay. Uh, so Naga Arjuna. So we should pronounce it Naga Arjuna. Okay. Naga Arjuna. Okay. Shab. Uh, along with your say. Your sons. Uh, this, this is usually the one son. Oh, son. Chandrakirti. Are you doing yeah, and by the way, it oh. wouldn't be crazy to say Chandukirti. It would not be crazy because if you compare the, the what do you call that? Screen time that Ayadeva gets compared to Chandukirti, it's probably 1%. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, it's usually interpreted as, uh, as Ayadeva, but, but your footnote could say both. And the say in verses to Nagarjuna has, has been read as, as uh, Chandukirti before. It, it wouldn't be the first time. Ningne Dak Chaksal. I bound down to you from my heart. From my heart. Okay. Now what's this next line here? We got another picture. Yeah. Which means what? Um this is I bowed Kedip down. Jay? Yeah, Kedip J who is here called the Chuki Gyapo. The king of the Dharma. <laughs> yeah, and I bowed down at your holy feet. And by the way- Respectfully. Yeah, good. This uh, parentheses, they are the ACIP standard for smaller print, uh -huh. which is 
footnote print also, uh, annotation print in a Tibetan carving. So, uh, and, and oftentimes these are messed up by the typist because uh, the, it's not clear that the letters are 20% are smaller, okay, sometimes, okay. But in this case, it was obvious because it was under a picture. So it was tiny carved, you know, how small can you carve a piece of wood with grain in it, you see, so. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mawa kyukcho kyulad mun sum tu jampe yang ki kyawe chut su kun lek par tong te tsa sun droi we ni sun me lama te la ke chak so. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, let me let me think about something. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. I got it. Okay. Maui Kicho. The head bowl of those who. Prepare. Yeah, the head bowl of all teachers. Mawa means teacher. Okay. Uh, same as Tumba. Mawa is the same as Tumba. Okay. All the professors. Okay. Uh, like all the mixed nut professors. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, by the way, you guys are by now uh, more. Of, you are better scholars than any professor I know in a university, okay? I'm, you don't feel like it, but you already are, I, ha I have to say. Uh, so don't feel shy to be called a professor. Okay. Mawe kicho kilangun sum du, okay? Jambe ke gyawe chutsu kun lekpar dom ze. So you are, you are the head bowl of all teachers, okay? And Jambe Yang himself, domed you, okay? What's dome mean? Like kadampa. Uh, advice. Oh. Uh. Yeah, gave you the lineage, okay? Transmitted to you, dome. Uh, it can mean advice. It, it of, most often means advice, okay? You got private teachings from Majushu. That's basically what it's saying. Who, who is he talking about now? Uh, Jason Kappa. Yeah, and if he was a real hardcore Jetson copying, he would say you got domed by yourself. Right. <laughs> okay, but he's being a little bit, he's restraining himself here. Okay, so Jamiyangi Gyawe Chutsu Kun Lekpar Dom. Manjushri himself took the Dharma teachings, which here is called the way of the Dharma. Okay, all the ways of the Dharma, Chutsu Kun, all the ways of the Dharma, of the victorious ones. And he domed it to you. He transmitted it to you personally, Lekpa. Very well. Perfect. Perfectly. Okay. And in so doing, uh, you became the Sasum. You became the meek for the drawers of the Sasum. You became the eyes of the beings of, of the three levels. Yeah, and uh, it's traditionally explained as being either beings under the earth crawling on the surface of the earth or flying above the earth, uh, or kamsum. The three realms. Yeah, uh, desire realm, form realm, form realm. I think the latter one would be more, I mean, yeah. we didn't teach a lot of birds probably or mice, you know. So. <laughs> okay, so, but, but you know, in the days of, uh, dragons and uh, nagas and maybe he did you know deva <laughs> so anyway i usually put both in the footnote and uh, you are tsungme lama you're a matchless lama yeah and i i bowed down to you this good is instrumental uh oh oh uh, by my head oh to the head no, with my head, okay? With my head. And, and you have to convey in the English the image of K2J actually putting his forehead to the feet of Tsongkhapa, okay? So it doesn't mean he nodded to him or something, okay? Right. It means he got down on the ground and put his head on the, on the Lama's feet, okay? So you gotta, somehow you're gonna have to indicate that in the translation, 
Okay. Okay. Uh, now, I, let's read the next. Do we have time? We're okay. I think we've got four minutes. Okay, let's do it. Dini kang tak mang du te dong, din zin plur len sap moi, de jilat sempa. So, we're, how many beats? Dini kang tak mang du te dong, din zin plur len sap moi, de jilat sempa. 19. Wow. <laughs> so, this must be someone pretty darn heavy. Yeah, and it's, also, duck. it's difficult to do lines of 19. It's hard. <laughs> He's showing up. Great, nice reading. Uh, I'll draw your attention to the dear Sheja. Okay, uh -huh. and uh, I'll give $50 to anyone who can tell me in Tibetan what this is. It's, it's the act of doing this commentary? In Tibetan, wait, who is that? Who is that? Who's word, Sampa Gotta Pancha. be word. Yeah, you sure? <laughs> Say it clearly. Sampa? That's sampa is, is something you eat. Uh, tam, tam. Par. Par jawa. No, sampar tam jawa. Sampar right? tam jawa. I think that's what you said first, right? Something like that. <laughs> okay, $49 shopping. Yay. Okay. I was in a, a room one time and, and a ten, like a $10 million diamond deal was going down. And... Uh, my my diamond dealing teacher was in the room with me and uh the dealer who's selling the 10 millions of diamonds he says i won't take a penny less than 10 million dollars and my teacher the esteemed ehud coin said i will offer you nine million nine hundred and ninety nine thousand and nine hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents what are you going to do <laughs> and i have to say that the guy took it <laughs> uh, why did I mention that? Uh, oh yeah, he didn't quite get it perfect, but I'm gonna give him 99% of the money, okay? <laughs> so this is Sompa Dam Chawa, or Tsampa Dam Chawa, which is what? The promise to write the book. Yeah, here. this is extremely important three words here. Dear Sheja, I will write the book. And Beth is taking a similar Dam Chawa, which is Gyodu Dam Chawa, Okay, if you finish this line today, you are. I'm hooked. You are committing yourself to a 12 year job or 15, I don't know, something. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready yeah. for that? Say, dear Shaja. Yeah, sure. Dear Shaja. Shaja. Say, dear Shaja. I'm sorry, what? Say, dear Gyorja. Dear Gyorja. Yeah, I will. I will it. do it. Say it three times. Dear, 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 job. Dear, job. One more time. Dear, dear, job. Job. dear, dear, job. Okay, good. You have dam chawa. Okay. So, yeah. will you two please say that? Oh yeah, dear, dear, job. Dear, dear, job. Dear, job. Okay. Okay. God, that must have things in whole summer. We're at time now, Gesha. Do you want to continue? Yeah, I think let's do, do it next time because we can rush okay. and not do a nice job, or we can. I think we already did the heavy thing. Okay. Uh, up here. Five thirty, right? Five thirty. Five. Pandemics fly. All right. Sashi Pupi Chimato Vira Ling Shin in the Kempati Sangye Shingu Nikte Wargi Jokun Namdak Shingla Drupasho Yidam Guru Ratnamanda Kamiritayani Kewadi Kyokun 
Sunam yaşe tok sok şi. Sunam yaşe le cümle. Tampar kumi topar şu. Oh. Thank you, Geshe. You're welcome. I'm interested to see, by the way, if uh, he has managed to get the four, uh, the, the Gusok Chushi. The four proofs. Uh, the, the necessity and the other. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I'm curious if he got it in here. We'll see. Okay. 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 Also, I'll see you guys. What time, Nick? Eight minutes, uh, 8.05. 805. Yay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Geshe. Thank you. Thanks, guys, from all over the world. You got a lot of courage. You <laughs> guys also have to say, Nyambaja. Please, all the audience, say, Nyambaja. 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 I promise to listen to all the classes that Bess will have. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh. 15 year commitment. Yay. No, I'm not kidding. Okay. <laughs>